Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Mercury Farms. It is morning and if you look at the forecast, there's rain and I want to harvest today. Uh, may not happen. Uh, we got the Case Puma. I still got the narrow tires on it. I thought about switching over to the big tires and I thought, you know, I'm just coming up here to clean out the animals. And then he's got to get busy weeding out some fields. Uh, so I thought, what's the point of putting on the big tires at this point? Um, I think he can manage doing this. Um, I, I don't know what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> I did want to harvest, but yeah, the forecast is kind of saying, uh, no, you may want to think, rethink that uh, situation. So we will see how far I can get. I thought about this, you know, let's not worry about the animals. And uh, we will get, you know, get the fields, uh, get the case boom and start weeding. And I'll get the harvesting. I'll take care of the animals when it's raining out. And I thought, you know what, we'll just, we'll just go here little by little. See what happens. Uh, see how far we get. We are up to seventy-three thousand dollars just because of property income overnight. I did already uh, in the last evening. So when we finished up seeding uh, the big livestock market field, I took the TA and the seed drill over to those other two fields, uh, meaning right here, and I put soybean in them as well. And obviously we got weeds. That's where the case puma needs to go and uh, clean. Uh, yeah, clean up. Well, yeah, clean out the weeds. Uh, please clean up the weeds. So I really have no plan of what to do if it starts raining because most of our fields are pretty much seeded. Um, I guess you could watch me weed all day long if I had nothing else to do. Uh, how fun is that? I, I don't know. It's, uh, I have no idea. But we'll try harvesting and see how far we get. I thought about doing the oat field first first just to get so because that way I would have a straw to pick so if it started raining I could always just go and pick up straw so I think the oat field first uh, the other field we have obviously is the did that not go into the feed trough that's ridiculous uh, yeah we have the corn field obviously so harvesting corn I means I am gonna have to put what the heck what is up with this feed trough these chickens is it is no, it's not full. It's not full. I'm like, if it's full, this day wouldn't accept it. Um, let me uh, go in straight here. I mean, usually you just get the bucket somewhere over the feed trough and just takes it. Why is this one dumping out the floor? I uh, cannot see where I am. Yeah, I'm too far. There we go. All right. Yeah, I will say, though, cleaning out the animals is... When I used to have to go down to the sheep pasture with the the agro star, the dutes, the old dutes, um, yeah, max speed of 24 miles an hour seemed like it took forever. And I used to say, I'll I'll meet you down at the sheep pasture now. With the case puma, <laughs> doing 42, 43, we zip right along. So there's our soybeans. Uh, they're looking good. Just got some weeds in it. Of course, that field's double fertilized. The other fields are double fertilized. We just got to weed them out, and they're good to go. As for the market, I have not checked the market yet this morning to see if the great demand is still available for the corn. So, I mean, that could affect what we harvest first. Uh, but we'll check out. First thing I want to do is I want to get the animals cleaned out. Uh, get the case puma back to the main farm. Get the weeder on there. And, yeah, definitely get the big livestock market field taken care of first. So they are all cleaned out. I will worry about the water later on. I think the sheep will be fine. I know the sheep need water. And while we're at it, the cows, the cows always seem to need water as well. Uh, but they have water at the moment, so they're all good. So let's go back, drop this guy off, meaning the front loader. And then the case Puma, we'll put the weeder on him. He'll come over here, start weeding, and we'll hop right into the harvester. And then we'll check the market uh, yeah, I thought about, I kind of forgot about the corn being at high demand. Uh, I don't know where the high demand was, but it doesn't matter. The price was pretty darn good. Let me get started on that. Now, I'm fighting with myself, but it's not going to matter this episode, and probably not next episode before we head back to the Pacific Northwest. 
Uh, after I harvest these fields, I'm fi uh, lower. I'm fighting with myself, figuring out. After I harvest these fields, do I prep them and get them reseeded, or uh, yeah, I'm fighting with? Because I don't know exactly when I'm leaving Murphy Farms. I just know it should be sometime soon for seasons. Uh, yeah, so I'm fighting with myself on that, but. I think we'll just keep on working on this farm until it's time to leave, and then if I have crops in them, I can kind of figure out how to do it when uh, when it's time to sell everything. So we got, you know, a big field of oats here, a big field of, well, that's, that's not that big of a field. I say, I mean, I used to think that was a big field of corn, uh, but now with the livestock market field, yeah, it doesn't look as big as it once was. And of course, our sugar beet might be ready as well. Now, I do know that the weeds are in stage one today, so we can go ahead and hook up this guy. So I guess if worse comes to worse, uh, if it starts raining... Yeah, I really don't have much to do other than harvest, because all the fields are pretty much set. Uh, that's why I seeded the, those two fields down there off camera, because I figured, well, I, I don't need to do it first thing in the morning. I had about two hours of daylight as so I can whip through these, and I pretty much did just as it got dark. I finished up, which is, well, I thought, good. And when morning comes, I can just focus on harvesting and get the case puma, start weeding. Plus, you know, getting those two fields done, it means that they hit a growth stage overnight. That was the plan. And then I woke up this morning, and at first, it was just clouds, and that, as I was, uh, getting ready to get I was getting the case puma ready to go pick up some stuff uh, meaning the front loader to clean them out clean out the animals that's when the rain uh, showed up in the forecast so I don't know if I got three hours worth of good weather ish so hopefully some maybe not until 11 o'clock but at least we can do some weeding here uh, there so we're all set there um, let me just double check. Yeah, our sugar beet field is even ready as well. Um, but that's all fine. All right, so let's go into the market. Uh, the great demand for corn is over. But that is a pretty darn good price. 582 at Windmill Hill, I think. Uh, some flowers we got plenty of. Uh, how are oats? 715 and rising. I think that can get up to 900. So I think, well, like I thought, I was going to do, we'll just get right on the oats. Um, that way, if it starts raining, I can always pick up straw and uh, do that later on. So let's hop on over here. My pipe is sticking out the back. Uh, my header is down over yonder. Watch me just like get like a little tiny section done and then poof, it'll just start raining. Um, I think the header is in pretty decent condition. Let me turn on the HUD. Uh, enable straw swath is what we want. Start that guy up. Let's get a headland done or two. I just realized I don't have my truck and trailer. Uh, that is up at the livestock market. That's good planning, Peanut. Very good planning. Uh, you're just in a rush because the rain's coming. Yeah, I know. So, what can I do here? Um, I mean, I can't really hire a worker. It's such a tight area. I'm going to have to do a headland myself. And I probably am going to fill up before that. So, it is what it is. Because I am thinking, once again, I think what we'll do is do, do two headlands. I'll set them off on a worker. Pending on rain. And, uh, yeah, he can go ahead and harvest. And what we'll do is we'll grab the T8. The T8 is over here. He can grab the loading wagon. And we'll start picking up some straw while this guy is harvesting some oats. So we'll try to knock this field out before it rains. I don't think we will. But, uh, yeah, the rain, I think the rain's going to come before I can finish it. Because that's usually what happens. And then, usually when the rain starts, I think it rains for 12 hours. 
So that would mean this day is kind of shot. Uh, we don't have enough eggs to really make like an egg run or enough wool to make a wool run and probably not enough milk to make a milk run either so yeah uh, let's just wait and see what happens when the rain comes try to get as much done as I can I mean, if I got to skip a whole day, the, the worst thing that's going to happen, well, there's no worst thing. The the beneficial thing that will come happen is I, you know, I just fast forward, skip the whole day. And basically the animals produce more product for us faster. <laughs> that's about it. I don't have to worry about these plants withering or anything like that. The only thing that kind of sucks is that oat price is going up, so I hope it gets around up to $900. That'd be great. Yeah, so I'm not even going to get a headland done, I don't think, before this combine is full, which is good. And then, like I said, uh, what we'll do with the straw is uh, the cows need some straw, not a whole lot. And then I'll put the rest into the, into the Total Mix Rations mixer. And once that is full, because that mixer, I don't want to say only can hold 600,000 liters because that's quite a bit amount of straw, but we can sell the rest. Make some money that way. If this rain just holds off for a couple of hours, that would be great. At least let me get one field done. So I am gonna have, gonna have to grab the truck before I can set this guy off in a worker. Not too bad though. I don't know. It seems like it's getting brighter out. The fog is kind of lifting up this morning, and the sun's coming out. Actually, it's kind of like my real life morning here. Uh, Kind of foggy this morning. The sun's coming out and it's getting hot and humid. And uh, sometime in the afternoon we're supposed to get heavy thunder showers here. So that's probably what's going to happen here in Mercury Farms as well. 99% um, full. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, you're good there. Might as well turn it off. Jump on up to the truck. Uh, trailer is empty. Actually, the Dutes Fire has a loading wagon up here, so... Remember how I said we're going to use the T8 in the loading wagon? Well, I think we'll just be using the Dutes Fire because it's already kind of set to go. No sense of driving the T8 up here to grab the loading wagon and bring it back. I'll just grab the Dutes Fire and bring it on down. We'll start uh, loading up some straw. So right now, it's looking like when we head back to the Pacific Northwest, we're going to head back with just a little bit of cash. Not a whole lot. Uh, but I think I said that last week, and then we sold something. I, I forgot what it was. Uh, maybe it was the eggs. And uh, we went back with like 600000 or 500000 Yeah, 500000 Half a million. Which was great. Allowed us to buy some land. And get by for a couple days. But I, I am hoping that when we sell Mercury Farms off here, that I'm going to be just as surprised as it was like on Ravenport. And uh, yeah, all that money we get from here, but we're just going to help pay off that loan a lot when we get to the Pacific Northwest. I don't, I, I really don't have a guess on how much this farm is worth. I mean, you just keep buying things and it's like uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars here, a couple hundred thousand dollars there. And uh, you really don't think about how much overall you're spending. Now, I don't own as much land as I did on, on Ravenport. Or, excuse me, uh, our previous owner didn't own as much land as we did in Ravenport. But it's going to be kind of weird. I think I think this field here is a combination of 
four fields. I think the tree field behind us is uh, three fields worth. But they're all small fields. And of course, over there, uh, the livestock market field, that's that, that, those two fields right there are combined like maybe $550,000 worth, somewhere in there, be my guess. Then, of course, we have all the equipment. I mean, even if it's, I don't want to say just $10 million worth that I have sitting around, you just picture the Pacific Northwest going from a $50 million loan down to $40 million in one day. That's, that's greatly going to reduce our loan payment at midnight, which will make farming a lot easier. I mean, that's 20% that's of your loan just taken care of. Alright, so back to Mercury Farms here. Yeah, uh, need to get this other headland done. I'll probably get down to where the the truck, it, truck and trailer is and we'll unload again and then set him off on a worker going up and down. He should be all set. Uh, we'll run up, grab the Deuce Fire and the T8. Uh, yeah, the Deuce Fire and the T8, yeah. I'm going to hook the T8 up to the Deuce Fire. Uh, the loading wagon. And we're going to start picking up some straw. Try to pick it up before, you know, it rains and it gets it all nice and wet. Because right? that's what you want from your straw, right? I'm pretty sure the cows would appreciate it. Yeah, cows, here's your, here's your wet straw for bedding in. They probably don't care. Well, I'm pretty sure they do. As I say, wage payment. Yeah, 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 peanut. You got the case Puma over in the livestock market field weeding it out. Yeah, I remember. We are harvesting a good amount of oats, actually. Now, I've been told, and I'm pretty sure I haven't done the test, and I've never seen the test done, uh, that oats is the best product to get the most straw. Now, I'm pretty sure someone, the best way to do the test would be take a field like this and um, seed it with wheat and see how much grain you get and how much straw you get, then do barley and then do oats and compare the three to see what produces the most in yield for crop and yield for straw. And I've heard numerous people say, oh yeah, it, you want to do oats for straw. But then again, you know how the internet's like, you know, some a person will read it and, you know, a person will read, oh yeah, oats are the best way to get straw. And, they go, and they'll say, oh yeah, I know for a fact that oats is the best way. No, you just read it on the internet. And you think that's the truth. If it's on the internet, it, it is the truth, right? Yeah, I'm just rambling on this morning. The rain's got me all flustered in the forecast. I don't know why I keep... I keep looking over there thinking the deuce fire is going to show up on his own with a loading wagon. Uh, if I leave the truck here, the truck should be kind of out of the way. But I kind of do need to move them around so I can pick up the straw. I will overlap this a little bit because we all know I can't drive straight. So make sure he gets it all. Alright, he is on his own. He or she. Um, can I make this tight corner with the deuce bar and the loading wagon? No, I cannot. realize I could put the time scale down to one times and probably get the field done but what fun would that be at least if the, when the rain comes the case Puma can continue his job and keep on weeding the field yeah that's why I said uh, last episode about the dudes far it gets the front seems to be very light so even though I just got the loading wagon in the back with nothing in it, I mean, it hit a bump and the front steering just went, uh, nope, don't like it.
All right, we'll get this line here first because a truck is kind of in the way. I mainly need to get the uh, two heavens down at the north and south end of the field because that's where the helper is trying to turn around and it gets a little bumpy for him. But here's something I don't really show too often is me using the loading wagon. But we'll get this, uh, this south end done then head back up to the north end and get the other end done. That way the harvester doesn't have too much of an issue going over the swaths and compacting my swaths down. Come on, turn around a little bit better than that. Perfect, picked it all up. I think it did anyways. But this is one thing that uh, with just a regular base game with weather. I mean, you're supposed to see the rain coming and with the sun being out. You know, it seems like the rain is, I don't want to say far off. I think with seasons, you'll see the rain, you know, it's, it's more predictable. We'll say this about this deuce fire that we're using. Uh, it's fat. Uh, if you look at the tires, I mean, it's it's wider than the loading wagon looks like. Yep, I'm I'm here to help you. I'm gonna get in his way. Maybe. No, not yet. Hold it. Hold it. I got it. There, we're all set. Well, at least with the deuce fire with a seven, was it 750 horsepower somewhere in there that we got in here? Yeah, he doesn't really slow down when he gets 90,000 liters of whatever that he's hauling behind him. So once again, uh, this episode is not going quite the way I had planned. But then again, sometimes that makes it better of an episode. Now I'm thinking I'm going to get this whole... I'm going to just keep on recording. No jump cuts. Uh, <laughs> we get done when we get done. And when it rains, it'll be like, yeah, well, I'll just wait till tomorrow and do the rest. So yeah, this first load will go up and we'll uh, uh, give the cows some straw and put the rest in the TMR mixer. There, harvesters having no problem. But the one thing, the harvester, I was going to say, the harvester should be pretty close to needing to be emptied. So I'll part the Duke's fire over here, meaning I'm going to let the engine run for a minute. And we'll grab our truck. Uh, well, now that I'm in the field, the field does not need to be limed or plowed at all. So in a way, it's ready just for a reseeding whenever. But I want to hop on the truck and get the harvester unloaded because when he turns around, pipe will be facing the correct way for us. I'm kind of glad though that when you have crop destruction on like we do that a worker does not destroy crops because the way they turn around sometimes yeah, I can get get you kind of aggravated, like, don't turn around the crops, and you see your crops is getting destroyed. That'd be very frustrating. Don't 
don't get in his way because he'll stop and it'll just ruin everything. There we go, now he's all set. Now I gotta move out of the way so he can get going again. Nope, we're getting along quite well. I say we're like 30, 40 percent done in the field. Well, it looks like my deuce, uh, deuce fire kind of needs a little bit of repair work. A little bit of a tune-up. What kind of horn does this thing have on it? Alright. Probably driving too fast. If I hit a bump just right, this thing's going to kick way off like that. Right on cue, just about. And, of course, I got trailers right in the way because I plan everything perfectly. But I think I can sneak in there. The thing about this barn, where the straw goes, I got to angle it in there kind of like that. Oh, good. I don't have to back up any further. Sweet. And we can see the straw building up inside the roof area. Wow, they took almost all of that, which is you know fine by me because we're going to have more than enough straw. I think with some of this manure that we got, I may go ahead and spread some on a grass field. That way, if I go to mow it one more time, um, we'll we'll get. Double, not double, but uh, double fertilization on the grass field. Looks like our case puma is about halfway done. I know I keep see, seeing cotton in some of these fields and part of me says, you know, we should have done cotton here, but yeah, I, I don't know. We're doing cotton on the Pacific Northwest pretty heavily. All right, so let's get to keep on keeping on here. I'll keep an eye on the harvester. I'll keep picking up some straw. Let's see how far we can get. Maybe do a little bit of time lapse because uh gotten further than I thought, but I'm guessing somewhere around 11 o'clock, which means they got it about another hour to go. That's when the rain will hit. Well, I wasn't too far off on the time. Uh, I said 11. Uh, how about 11, 11? Um... <laughs> I want to move this guy. I'm going to lose a little bit of crop because he was turning around and I'm parked in it, but I should be fine. But we got most of the field done. I have most, I mean, our total mix rations mixer is just about full of straw. So, yeah, I mean, it's, I got more done than I thought I would. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, watch me start this field and I'll get like one pass done. Uh, so our harvest is going to have to be put on hold until the next in-game day. Because it's probably going to rain the rest of today. How are the price of oats doing at the moment? Uh, 774 and rising. So we'll hold on to the oats. Our worker is uh, kind of done here. I'll do that little strip here and then send them off over here. Uh, but what we're going to do here to kind of wrap up the episode is uh, let's do this. Um, yeah, I'll even close up. Well, I gotta wait for him to pipe to finish going over. Uh, we'll close up the harvester so no rain gets in there. I'm pretty sure some will. 
Uh, technically, I should put that under cover, but you know what? It could use a good wash. Let's go ahead. We're going to put this oats into the silo. Uh, is there? A yes, there is. I'm like, there's a way out of this field. It's right around here somewhere. So we got like, you know, what, 75% of the field done, which is better than I thought. Now let's get these oats right into our silos so they stay nice and dry until the time comes. Uh, 58103. I don't think I had any in stock. So let's put that in there. We made it, made it just wait until the next day when we finish harvesting the rest of the oats. Uh, 58103 is what I said. Actually, I had some in stock. Okay, so that, that's fine. Uh, let's come back over to our our deuce fire. Uh, everything's getting cleaned up. Uh, the straw is getting a little wet, so let's go ahead and get that right to our mixer. And probably the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to check on the animals uh, just to make sure everything's all set other than, yeah, we got to do some water at this point. I know the sheep were getting kind of low. The cows should be fine. And of course the chickens, I can just go over to the chickens and uh, turn on the automated uh, the animal extension mod that I put in just to see how that works. I think in seasons... The animal extension, when you, when you call for water or add water to the pen, it actually charged you. Uh, I think, though, it will tell you when you install the animal extension how much the water will cost you per day to fill up. Uh, so while that's unloading, let's go into our animals. Uh, cows, water-wise, water-wise, they're good. <laughs> uh, sheep, yeah, they're not bad. And hay, uh, probably could uh, do some love and care. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's take care of the sheep. I mean, we're right here. Uh, let's load up with some hay. I can take that right back out. We'll just, we'll just take it all. Well, not at all. I'm not, I'm not going to have to sit here forever. Uh, that should be good enough. And we'll go top them off. And then, uh, yeah, I'll grab the truck. And I'll give the sheep some water off camera. You don't need to see me filling up because that water tank is going to take a while to fill up. Let's at least make sure that the sheep have some some food. So, yeah, usually in the base game for FS19 on the forecast, so like right now it's showing just rain. So like right now, if, if the sun were to pop up next to it, it usually means you're about four hours off from that forecast. So if the sun came up now on the right hand side of that rain, it would mean somewhere around quarter or 3.30 in the afternoon is when the rain should stop. How much of this food are you guys going to take? I don't think you're going to take all of it. I uh, did not think so. But uh, yeah, you're good. you guys are good to go for a while. At least 10 days, I do believe. So we got more done than I thought, which is good. Uh, but yeah, this means that the afternoon is going to go to crap. It's kind of unfortunate that I didn't get the whole field harvested because if I did, and the field does not need lime or plowed or anything like that, I could have just, you know, spent the afternoon in the rain picking up the straw, which wouldn't take much longer. And I could have got the TA in there and started seeding another crop in, but now it's got to wait because I got, you know, we got more oats to harvest. Let's go ahead and dump this right back in there. Yeah, so I, I got 576,000 liters of straw, so this only holds 600,000, so any more straw that I pick up, I'm just going to go ahead and turn around and sell. We are good on straw. Um, we're kind of all, all set on the hay situation. And we got plenty of silage. Uh, I got to come up with a... The weeds hit stage two there. Really? Wow, we just planted that yesterday. Uh, it hasn't even been really 24 hours, and the weeds hit stage 2 in 24 hours. That's fast. Well, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I'll just park this guy right here. That's all good. Let me just uh, jump on down to the harvester. Jump on out. Alright, the weeds in here are not in stage two. 
That is interesting. Uh, because, I mean, I'd see to this field right after this field. All right, so they're not stage two all the way through. Um, so look at this strip. You know, I'm not going to bother bring over the sprayer, and it's probably like down to here or something like that. It's advancing along, so uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we will get most of them here because not all of the weeds are in stage two, so stick with me for just a couple more seconds here. We'll get rid of these weeds here, and then I better get the case Puma over <laughs> to the other fields ASAP before we hit stage two so I can, you know, weed them for free. I mean, how far up the field do I have to go before I see stage two weeds growing? For our soybeans, maybe maybe it's the rain. The rain is making everything grow faster. I don't know. But it seems like our soybeans are growing pretty darn well. All right, I can see the stage two weeds up ahead. Uh, the one thing with the rain, though, it's uh, cleaning some of my equipment. Now, I can't remember. Does it only clean the equipment if you're in it? Or, or I forgot how that worked. Either way. All right, so we're going to call this good to go right here. All right, you're not going to do any more good for me, so we'll raise you on up. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, other than wrap up the episode, I'm going to go ahead and grab my truck, uh, go fill up the tanker with some water, and I will top off the sheep with some water because I don't want to forget the sheep and uh, obviously they're producing wool at a decent rate and actually let's go ahead and just check on the wool here I mean I do have two empty pallets so if I do get a notification that there's no room for wool I mean one yeah I can take up my pallets and all right so yeah we, we haven't sold them that long ago so I got plenty of time I don't have to worry about that at all um seems like it's been a while but sometimes that's the way it goes All right, so yeah, I want to bring the, uh, not this guy back. He needs to go on the field on the other side of the fence. Uh, I'll probably have to do these fields myself because the fields are kind of small, and a worker, and uh, it's a small area. They'll hit the hedgerows and all that. So I'll, I'll weed these fields off camera. It won't take me too long. Uh, probably have to set up GPS because, well, I mean, you can tell. I mean, it's, it, you cannot see what the weeds are when it gets to this stage. Yeah, so these fields aren't that big. I'll, I'll rip right through them in no time. But I'll park them right here so I don't forget. Uh, that field should be easier. Should I, I should, should I should. Uh, so I should do that field first. It'll be easier for me to see. Anyways, uh, let's grab my truck here. Um, I will leave the trailer down here like I should. I like how that tree is kind of right there. I should be... I, I've never used those uh, shells... For anything you, sh you should be able to put some equipment on it like i don't know if you can put seed storage and stuff like that on top of it but anywho like i said i'm going to go up grab my water tanker uh take 12 hours and fill that up uh, <laughs> then i'm going to go top off my animals with some water but uh yeah i think that's going to do it for today guys because while well, draining i'll probably see in the next in-game day because this is good it's just going to rain the rest of the day so yeah um yeah that's gonna do it for today hope you guys did enjoy the episode I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you next time on Mercury Farms. But until then, have a good one.